So you're looking to evaluate an antique piece of furniture, and you're not quite sure if it's a reproduction or a real one. I'm Blake Kennedy with Kennedy Brothers Estate Services, and I'm here to help. Wondering if it's an antique piece of furniture and what it's worth and what kind of age it is is a tough question. The first thing that I do when I go into a house and decide if it's an antique piece of furniture is I open up the drawer. This obviously is not an antique piece of furniture. Uh, this is from the 50s and 60s, but I always open it up and see the dovetails. The dovetails will tell you a lot. Uh, if they're all nice and uniform like the way this is right here, that's a machine-made piece. That's not an old piece uh, because they, they cut it out on a machine the same way that side and the same way on this side. It's also put together with a lot of glue. So you want to make sure if you look at it and it's ununiformed or it's only got three dovetails, that's what they call a hand-cut dovetail, probably done in the 1800s. And you also want to see the nails. If it's got square nail heads on it, that's uh, indicative of the 1800s and early piece. I also reach underneath the piece and I feel it to see if it's what they called hand chamfered. It'll be like at an angle where they had to chamfer it into the drawer. This one is not, obviously, because it's from the 50s and 60s. You also want to determine the type of wood that it is, if it's oak, uh, if it's mahogany, walnut. Those are all pieces that they used uh, during the antique period because there was plenty of it. One thing that people forget about when they're looking at antique furniture, if you look at the top, the wider the piece of board on that antique furniture, the older the piece, because that means the tree was older, so when they cut it and spliced it, it's a wider piece of wood. So that right there looks at, tells me this is an old piece of furniture with an old piece of wood put on top of it, and sometimes they've used different woods on antique furniture. So make sure the first thing you do is look at the drawer. It'll tell you right away about what year it was done, and uh, you know obviously if it has metal sliders on it, it's a reproduction piece. Um, but it's not that difficult uh, trying to tell an antique piece of furniture if you know the right places to look. I'm Blake Kennedy, and I hope that helped.